So real quick, I'm going to show you a quick demo using um, my flocked paper. Typically this was meant to have um, been used for wedding or baby or something like that. And you can't really see the flocking underneath the page protectors. So I experimented a little and found out that you can actually change the personality or change the color very easily of the flock paper with Luminarts Twinkling H2Os. But real quick before I get started, typically I'm putting paper towel down. And I decided to put down Vintage Dictionary so that I could create some background paper for a project later. Anyway, so first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to spritz your flock paper. It's kind of like getting um, fabric ready to be dyed. Since there's actually fabric fibers create the flocking, you want to get it wet so that the luminart just kind of flows across the paper, literally dyeing the flocking. And you can see here we're going to make it nice and purple and make it super rich, completely different than the, just that white on white. You can also see as we add the color that you can see the background print, which is quite cool. We use a little bit of paper towel, kind of daub off the excess. There we go. Very pretty to be used later. I'll do one more so you can see how easy it is to do two completely different colors. I think this time we're going to do a green one. I'm going to use olivine green. I probably mention this every single video that I make is the green, but I absolutely love it. It's very rich. Works well with like Tuscan colors and also works well with your brights. It's one of the few greens that goes with absolutely everything. I'm going to mix a little bit of a darker green also, just to kind of get it to go. I love how the background really shows up with it dyed. Completely different, obviously, right? So this is night and day. Gotta love that. Now, what's really cool, there are lots of companies out there that make the flock paper. There's actually, within Creative Imagination, there's another one. This one's from Creative Cafe. And it has a leaf print, which you can't really see if you're just looking at it plain. But once you take some of the green and do the background, you can see it shows up. It's quite pretty. I'll add a little bit more of this green and make it kind of watery, springy. Anyways, just a little bit, just to give you an idea. Anyway, that is a way to use your flocked paper and change the color. And um, I will show you a couple projects that I used using the way I, did, I changed the colors, and that's it. One of the things I need to remind um, everybody, when you're using the Luminarts, make sure that you remember that water is your friend. I mean, really, literally, water is your friend. And you need to make sure that periodically, you're actually just spritzing your little pots of paint. You really want them to keep them saturated, keep them soaked. That way it's easier to create that water